So the Dunty Stakes is next, and this is the premier derby trial, of course. It's for three-year-old Colts, and we'll take a full look at the list shortly. Some pointers for next week's derby. Paul Rose is number one, taking the trial yesterday. That's what we've got today. This is Mara Cora, then Group 2 for three year olds. Top one, Baton Rouge for Paul Rose. Cincinnati Depression, or even Cincinnati Desperation for Vinnie Gerard. Dan's Watches for Steve Rand. Dawn Arisen for Craig Allen. Fight Without Fear, Leon Van Rensburg and Gong Beauty, James Shea. The living legend, Joshua Sutherland and Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes, is the favourite. That looks like we're letting Phillies in to the Dante in the land of SO7. As we get an aerial sweep of the track. And they're all in. And away we go then. And it can be the first to show. Looks like Fight Without Fear is going to be up there. But on the near side, the green jacketed and gong beauty has got the rail and has got the lead. And I'll be impressed by the living legend. And then on the wide outside of that one, Cincinnati Depression back in fourth. And there's Fight Without Fear. But they're pretty tightly packed at this point of the race. It could get tactical. This doesn't appear to be a great deal of pace on Ungong Beauty as the leader by two lengths to Cincinnati Desperation in second. Then comes the Living Legend and Baton Rouge. Dan's watches is after that one. Dakar Girl in the blue jacket. Dawn Arisen is on the outside and the Leon Van Rensburg horse fight without fear has now dropped to the back with a yellow cap but it's Ungong Beauty in the lead by about two lengths to Cincinnati Desperation in second. Baton Rouge on the outside is third on the rail is the Living Legend. The grey is Dan watches on the outside of that one is Dawn Arisen, Dakar Girl in the blue jacket on its inside and the back marker on the rail is Fight Without Fear, they've got to get to Ungong Beauty though, Ungong Beauty is a good two and a half lengths clear of Baton Rouge in second and Cincinnati Desperation in third, Living Legend is fourth, then Dawn Arisen and Dan's watches is still going well, then Dakar Girl is also looking for him now, trying to sweep around the outside, Fight Without Fear can't make his mind up with it to try and get a split up the rail or go around the outside, the jockey on that one but Ungong Beauty in the lead but now being about to be pressed by the living legend and Cincinnati desperation the pace is quickened as they pass the through furlong pole and Ungong Beauty there kicks on again it's Ungong Beauty by two and a half three lengths to the living legend in second then on the outside Dawn Arisen is getting going so too's Dakar girl back on Rouge has dropped away fight without fear has got work to do Dan's watches looked in trouble and so too does Cincinnati desperation but it's Ungong Beauty who's four clear in the final furlong and a half and they're going to have some work to do to catch this one now it's Ungong Beauty is well clear he's putting him to the sword Ungong Beauty is well clear in the dancing racing up towards one is this one throwing down a big 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 marker for next week it's Ungong Beauty races up towards the line and he's going to take it really comfortably. Nobody got a blow in. Ungong Beauty, the winner, Dakar Girl, the second, Baton Rouge third, then Dawn Risen after that. Cincinnati Desperation was pulled up, up the straight. Uh, that explains why that one dropped away tamely, but Ungong Beauty has taken that with absolute ease. And was that a poor race or was that a good horse? So Ungong Beauty takes it for James Shea. Dakar Girl for Dan Hughes second. Baron Rouge for Paul Rhodes was third. And Dawn Arisen for Greg Allen fourth. With the living legend for Joshua Sutherland back in fifth.